Hello and welcome to yet another philosophical improvisation. Today we will speak about cathedrals. So I'm here in Verona, Italy, and we have the Duomo behind me, which is not the best example of cathedral for my purpose today. Nevertheless, I suppose that you've all been inside a cathedral. And usually we see it as a monument, more or less beautiful, more or less imposing. But do we really see cathedrals for what they are? Now close your eyes and imagine yourself entering a cathedral. What you will experience if you clean yourself from your cultural stereotypes, your training, your prejudices. You will see a portal, you will see a wormhole, you will see an entrance to a new dimension. And I do believe that the architects of medieval cathedrals really wanted to create this experience of transcendence, physical transmutation. You walk towards the center of the building, which usually represents a cross, and you experience what Jesus Christ experienced, which is an ascension to a new realm, to a realm of bliss, to paradise. Now, I'm not saying here that Christian, Catholicism, Protestantism, that those religions are right. I'm saying that if we look at things, how we experience them, out of the cultural usual context, we suddenly understand that people who lived before us were not as is often supposed, idiots with strange superstitions, right? They were like us, interested in multiple realities and mutations. We have today the narratives of astrophysics that tell us that voyage in time is possible through wormholes, black holes, what have you, in a astrophysical, cosmological dimension. Well, for the cathedral builders, this was possible within certain tunnel accesses, portals, again, that were present on earth and built by human belief, human faith. That's it for today. This was yet another philosophical improvisation and see you tomorrow.